Hello everyone and welcome to an Electrotech video. For this video, you're going to need the new item, which is the clock switch. And if you don't know where to buy that, there's a link to my video about it in the description. Anyways, today I'm going to be showing you guys three cool ways to use the clock switch in Lumber Tycoon 2. So without further ado, let's get right into it. Build 1 is going to be the nightlight. And what this is, is it will detect you walking by, and if it's nighttime, it will turn on. If it is daytime and you walk by, nothing will happen because there's no need to waste energy. For build 2, we're making a simple clock, and as you see, it's an accurate clock that tells the time. The top is midnight and the bottom is midday. For the last build, we're going to be building the reset lock. And what this does is it's a constantly changing combination lock. You know, kind of like those ones in the Zurich Bank vaults. But anyways, it's just going to be constantly changing, so you're going to need to know the combination at all times. Anyways, without further ado, let's get into build time. Okay, the first build we're going to be building is build 1. And how you build it is just a simple player detector, link in the description, hooked up to a daylight sensor set to only nighttime. From there, you just have an AND gate that goes into a wire. It's pretty simple, very self-explanatory. You guys can figure it out on your own. From there, we're going to have the clock. And the clock, again, you can figure out on your own. It's just eight clocks that are all in different orientations, each orientation taking up one eighth. From there, you just have to wire each one up to the correct spot on your clock, and everything should be working just fine. From there, we're gonna have the bank vault, and this one's a little more complicated, because what you're going to need to do is a lot of wiring. So, first off, you're gonna want to have a pressure plate that's hooked up to both sensors on a clock, and now you can adjust what part of the clock has the white line on it, but basically whenever you stand on said pressure plate, you'll see that the white line, or the on line as I referred to in my last video, moves all around the clock together. So from there you're going to just have another wire that hooks up to a button, and as you see when you hit that button nothing will happen because you need both the combination from the lock and the combination from the button. So as you see, now we have an output from the sensor here, and now you'll have an output and from there you can hit the button and the door will open. And now this is cool because it's a constantly changing lock as you see the time will keep changing. Thank you all so so much for reaching the end of my video. If you guys enjoyed please make sure to leave a like and subscribe it helps me out. And also if you have any problems or troubles building any of my designs in any of my videos there is a discord server it's a link in the description. And from there you can talk to me, you can see videos before they come out, and just hang out and socialize. It's pretty fun and there's also a very special person in that Discord. <laughs> but yeah, this is going to be it for me. Thank you all for watching. Goodbye.